right hello everyone welcome to math experience okay so in this uh, video we want to see this exercise from one of our students he says we should solve this particular equation which is actually an initial equation or what we can also call exponential equation so uh, uh, for a while now we've been solving problems that look this way so what do you do here you try to see if you can um, simplify this in such a way you can make some substitution and from what we are seeing, the term that we can substitute is 3 raised to the power of x, right? So let's try to see if we can uh, do that simplification. So, of course, we know that this is the same thing as 3 raised to the power of 2x multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 1 because uh, multiplication of the same base changes to addition of the powers, okay? And that's plus, so this is going to be, 3 raised to the power of x multiplied by 3 raised to the power of 1, which is equal to 12. Okay, so let's try to simplify what we have here. So this is 3, and what I have here, I can actually, you know, factorize out 2 from the power. So this is going to give me 3 raised to the power of x all squared. So multiplied by 3. So I want to bring this 3 in front now. And so this is going to give me plus 3 into 3 raised to the power of x and then let me bring over the 12 to this side and that is equal to 0 okay so from here we can see that if i let my 3 raised to the power of x be equal to let's say k so it means now that my equation will now become 3k squared plus 3k and minus 12 that is equal to 0 Okay, so what can I do now? There are common terms. I can cancel out the common terms, which is 3. So if 3 divide through, I will have k squared plus k minus 12, sorry, minus 4 equal to 0. That's dividing every term here by 3. And immediately we have a quadratic equation, which we can solve either by factorization or any other method. And of course, you can see factorization cannot work because... If I multiply a, meanwhile, what is our a there? Our a is 1. Our b, which is the coefficient of k, is also 1. And our c, which is the constant, is negative 4. Okay, so now you can see that if I multiply a by c, I'm going to get minus 4. And minus 4 is, uh, of course, all the factors will be, uh, factors of 4, for instance, will be 1, sorry, will be 1, 2, and 4. Okay, so there are no two factors of these four that we will multiply to get minus 4 and we will add to get 1. Okay, there's no how you do the combination and you will get that. So the simplest thing we can do here is to use formula method. So recall our formula method, it says that k is equal to the minus b. Okay, so let's try to make substitutions. So that means our k will be equal to, okay, so if we go ahead to simplify further, we will have minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 4 times 1 is minus 4 times minus 4 is 16. So we'll have 1 plus 16, which is 17. So we'll have square root of 17 over 2. The square root of 17 is approximately 4.1. So we'll have 1 plus or minus 4.1 all over 2. So if we split the into the two options, we are going to have negative 1 plus 4.1 all over 2 or negative 1 minus 4.1 all over 2. But of course, like we said, or like we know, since our 3 raised to the power of x is equal to k, so it means that k cannot be negative, but of course, the second option is going to be negative, so we can't take that. So that means that our k is equal to this first one, right? So and um, if we add up that minus 1 plus 4.1 will give us 3.1 all over 2, which is approximately 1.55. Okay, so the next is the, we now try to substitute into this formula. And if we do that, our 3 raised to the power of x is equal to k, where our k is now 1.55. So 
So what do we do? We take the log of both sides. So we'll have the log of three raised to the power of X. And so these three will come down by the rule of log. So we'll have X log three equal to the log of 1.55. But of course we can divide both sides by log three. So which means that our X will now be log 1.55 all over the log of three. We can actually stop here if we want, but at the same time, we can simplify this using calculator. And what is the log of 1.55? That's 0 0.1903 all over the log of three is 0 0.4771. And if you divide this, you will get approximately 0 0.4 to one decimal place and that is the value of our x okay so this is where we end it for this video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel do like and share our videos and we'll see you in our next video bye